Part of the job of any language is to have the notion of something called a scope, so that as we create local variables and we create data and data structures that we're going to use, the language engines need to know when those objects go out of scope, therefore can be cleaned up, can be garbage collected, whatever term you want to use. There's a notion of when an object goes out of scope. C Sharp and JavaScript are a bit different here, and so let's look at the comparison. In C Sharp, if I have a variable defined, and then I have a block, like an if block, I can use the object from the outer scope just fine. Variables created outside the scope, inside the scope it's used, no problem. But the creation of a variable inside a scope, and in C Sharp those scopes are defined by those curly braces, means that the variable is only existing inside of that if block. I can't then assign a new variable to the B variable here because the B variable goes away once that if block is done. The curly braces here are creating a scope in C Sharp that defines where this variable can be used and its lifetime. In JavaScript, this works differently. So if I have created a variable, if I have an if block, still works in the same way. Things from the outer scope are visible in the inner scope. But I can still assign the new C variable to the B variable because the curly braces in the if statement do not create a scope. This is all running in the same scope or context. So what does create a scope? The only thing that creates a scope in JavaScript is a function. So here if I have a variable again defined as a, a function that then uses that a variable, this works fine because of the closure. Again, like we talked about a minute ago in the closure section, this function is going to create a closure around the a variable so that it's available whenever the function is being executed. But then using that b variable that's created in the function outside of the function fails because functions actually define a scope. That fundamental difference between C Sharp and JavaScript can trip you up, so you, you need to be very careful about understanding that functions are the only things that create a scope in JavaScript, where C Sharp we create scopes all over the place. Anything with curly braces typically creates a scope.